Hi and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. Recently I've been in discussion about MFTs, multifunction tables. How accurate are they? What materials should they be made out of? There's plenty of opinions on this, but as for the facts, well fewer of those. So I thought it'd be useful to the debate to measure my own table. My table's made from 13 ply birch, high quality ply of the sort used for furniture making. It was at least five years from manufacture that I machined it, which was around 18 months ago. So how accurate is it? To do this, I'm not going to use something as crude as a ruler, or even a vernier. Instead, I will be using these, your Hansen gauges. These are stupidly accurate. The most accurate thing I am ever going to own. Each of these comes with its own error report. This one, for example, is 20 nanometers over size. That's 20 millionths of a millimeter. For perspective, that's half the diameter of a coronavirus. Used in combination, I can measure distances to within 5 microns. First step is to mic the dogs I will be using. They turned out to be 2 and 1.5 and microns under size. I shall allow for that. It's a matter of trying different combinations of blocks until you get a smooth fit. You soon get the hang of it. Probably more useful for this purpose, I have enough blocks to stretch over five dog holes. I shall try this across the board. I tested for squareness over four holes, measuring the diagonal as well. So, how did the numbers turn out? Well, along the table, it was remarkably accurate, very close, but with quite a substantial error. 0.23 millimetres. Along the table, it was slightly undersized, not much, but with a much lower error rating. When it comes to the angular measurement, as you can see, the error is 0.104 millimetres. When that is translated to an error across the table, it works out as 0.72 minutes of arc. That's pretty accurate. As a final test, I fitted the original CNC cut template over the top of my MFT and fitted dogs into all four corners. The template has been stored under quite different conditions of temperature and humidity for several months now. The next step was to turn the template over so that the dogs can only fit if it's retained its squareness to within the tolerance of the dogs. And it does. However, I also measured the template in the same manner. And there are differences between the two. So, how did the dog still fit in between both of them? How can this be? Well, the fact is that the dogs do have a tolerance. In engineering terms, dogs are dowels, often used to locate parts together when accuracy is required. Depending on the requirements, these are normally a few millimetres in diameter and through a thick part of the material. Firstly, a hole is drilled and accurately reamed to size. Then, a hardened dowel pin is inserted as a light interference fit. This gives a precise alignment of the parts. When holes are drilled in wood, either normal, ply or MDF, it is partly cut, partly torn, due to the nature of the material. The same is true of metals, but to a considerably lesser extent. Tear-out does not just happen at the surface. Exaggerated, it looks like this. When a dog is pushed in, it will press some of the high points into the voids and can feel quite firm. Because the bearing surface is short compared to the diameter, the resistance to angular movement of the dog is reduced. The taller the dog, the greater the effect of side force can be. Note that the practice of countersinking the top does not help here. So, what did I learn from all this measurement? Well firstly, when you are inserting dogs, it can take an error of up to 0.2 millimeters, say, and it will still be inserted, and you can't really tell. That's the limit of accuracy for these tables. You might get better than that, but you can't rely on it. Secondly, 
although my table has some errors in measurement, they're fairly small and well within the tolerance of the dogs, and you can't get better than that, so I can rest easy on that score. Remember, this is with my table, which is made out of quite hard birch. Use of a softer material, such as MDF, might mean the tolerance is somewhat larger. That's all for this time. I don't know if you found it interesting, but I certainly did. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.